Welcome to Tiny Tours. I am Jean Felstead, a docent at the Meadows Museum. It is a pleasure to look at this thought-provoking work with you. We sense that it is a portrait of a real person. Her individual features are unique. We notice that she is poised and calm and looks directly at us. It's easy to study in detail because it is approximately 30 inches tall by 21 inches wide. The title of the work tells us who she is, Portrait of Queen Maria Isabel de Braganza y Bourbon. She was an infanta of Portugal, infanta meaning a princess not in direct line to succeed to the Portuguese throne. She was bought, brought to Madrid in 1816 at the age of 19 to become the second wife of Ferdinand VII. As was often common, royal marriages were arranged between relatives, so Ferdinand VII was her maternal uncle. We notice she's not smiling. It was not the custom for royalty to smile in their portraits, but there is something in her expression beyond that. Some viewers think she looks sad, some that she looks sick, others that she is sullen. Knowing more about her may help us to understand her expression. The job of a queen being to bear heirs, she immediately became pregnant and gave birth to a daughter who lived only five months. Such sadness she must have experienced in losing her tiny daughter. Soon becoming pregnant again, she herself died at age 21 in a prolonged and particularly gruesome childbirth, this daughter being stillborn. The painting dates are 1816 to 1818, so we can assume that the artist started it soon after she came to Madrid, but also worked on it in 1818, the year Maria Isabel died. This artist is one of the most famous and important of all times. Francisco José de Goya y Lucientes was born in 1746 in Fuente Torres, Aragon, in the northeast of Spain. He died in 1828 at age 82 in Bordeaux, France. In this long and productive life, his body of work includes 500 oil paintings and murals, approximately 300 etchings and lithographs, and hundreds of drawings. The Meadows Museum is fortunate to have an unusually large collection of his works. Other Goya works are included in these tiny tours. Goya's biography in itself is a work of art, but suffice it to say that his enormous talent was recognized early on. He became a court painter, then painter to the king, and continued painting through turbulent times for Spain that saw three different Spanish kings, as well as Napoleon's brother, on the Spanish throne. It is important to know that after contracting a high fever in 1792 at the age of 48, Goya was deaf for the rest of his life, so he could well understand the sickness of the young queen. When we study the painting, we may well say it looks unfinished. The gray-black that accentuates the queen's head only covers a small portion of the brownish background of the work. Her dress is partially painted, and her left arm is only the barest of a sketch. So why is this? Some museum visitors suggest that the queen died before Goya could finish it. Some say that Goya simply stopped working on it for whatever reason. Others suggest that perhaps the queen or husband the king didn't like the painting and made Goya stop. But another idea is that to Goya, this work was finished. His expression of the one young queen's in unfinished life. We simply do not know. Not knowing is one of the greatest attractions of this work. Despite Maria Isabel's brief life, she was a popular queen and a significant patroness of the arts. She was the force behind the conversion of the Museum of Natural History in Madrid into an art museum, which in turn became the newly established Museo del Prado, opening in 1819. It has been a pleasure to talk with you about this painting. We hope that you will visit it in person. Do plan to join us for more of the Meadows Museum's tiny tours.